What's up you guys? Welcome to my long-awaited closet cleanup video. I thought I'd just jump on here and do a little intro because I'm about to tackle this disaster. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I've been looking at this mess for the last couple months. It's accumulated with just me being too busy and blah blah blah. Cleanliness has fallen to the back burner and I'm usually a very organized person but it's just I haven't kept up. I want to clean out my closet, get rid of just the excess, the stuff I don't need, the stuff I don't use, the stuff that does not bring me joy in the words of Marie Kondo, which I literally have watched half an episode of her show so I feel like I'm not even qualified to do this. That's what we're gonna get to but first, roll the footage from yesterday. Guys, I just got back to new Fabletics clothes. I'm so excited. It's out with the old and in with the new. Goodbye, clouds of gray. Hello, skies of blue. You guys know I work with Fabletics almost every month, and it makes me so happy to get new workout clothes because it just gives me that boost. It's like, okay, I need to book a boxing class right now so I can wear these adorable clothes. I already put on one of the outfits because I like screamed when I opened it and I wanted to try it on ASAP and I couldn't wait for it. I'm sorry. Fabletics has the cutest freaking workout clothes on the face of the internet and you guys need to see this these are the ones with the mesh pocket on the side and you can't even see it because it's camo <laughs> They're so comfortable. I love the length. You guys, like, I can't stress enough how obsessed I am with this. And the sports bra has these, like, cutouts on the back. Literally, I'm gonna feel like such a badass in boxing with this or wherever I'm working out. I also got a matching tank top, which I don't think I'd wear the tank top with this. So, we also got the tank top. So, I'll probably wear this with, like, pink leggings or black. So cute. Screams internally and externally. Do you see the texture on this? Like, it has the perfect amount of stretch. It's breathable. They just have such great attention to detail in making it, like, actually such good quality and functional workout clothing. Like, they know what they're doing. So, this little tank top, I'm going to put it on, but it has little um, drawstring sides. One side is drawstring, so it's really, really flattering. It's a racer back. Again, I'd probably wear the tank separately with, like black or something honestly 10 out of 10 with the athleisure this hoodie has the perfect gray to match these colors it's really comfy slouchy little hoodie with drawstrings it goes low in the front so you can see your cute sports bra these leggings are black and they have all of this eyelet detailing it's subtle but it's adorable it's a more of a stretchy waistband that isn't as like um suctiony is the power hold with this red tank top like it's a power color you know so i'm excited to wear this combo to something like boxing again i'm just obsessed with boxing obviously but literally these are the colors of the boxing studio i have this tank already in black and i know that i love it because it's so breathable it has all of this eyelet down the side on the back first of all these spin leggings i saw these brand new on the site and i flipped out because i saw them in this color which is this bright cobalt blue and you guys they looked so cool but they were already sold out and i was sad because i wanted um i wanted leggings in this color but i got this gray instead and it's really beautiful too that just goes to show like i thought i was on there as soon as this launched and it was already sold out of some of the stuff if you have your eye on something like definitely go get it now because their styles change they're meant for spin class they're so sleek and then i also got this tank top it's like flowy but not like flying all over the place it's still like form-fitting enough and breathable it's so strong stretchy so to get personalized recommendations you can take the style quiz on fabletics i've mentioned it before but i honestly think it does wonders because there's so much stuff on there that it's like kind of overwhelming so to get a quiz with personalized you know styles and things that you would like it really is helpful and then you can check out as a guest or you can check out as a vip which is what i do and it's the best deal you guys get so many exclusive offers and if you sign up as a vip today you can get two leggings for 24 dollars uh that just makes my heart happy. I love a deal. Definitely go click that link in the description box to get two leggings for $24 on Fabletics. I love them. They're slowly taking over my workout wardrobe and I'm not sad about it whatsoever. Okay, everyone, back as a professional ass bitch. I put on some business clothes for my presentation tonight, so thought I'd show you in our tradition. This pink top is H&M, I think, and so is the blazer, and then I'm wearing black pants from Loft and tennis shoes. I'm not wearing these to the presentation. I'm putting heels in my bag. Feels like it was just yesterday. We were doing these every day. I'm gonna grab a protein bar as a snack because I ate lunch a couple hours ago and I'll probably be getting a coffee. You only present your capstone at your grad school once, you know? Gotta treat yourself with coffee. Back again.
folding is not just making your clothes smaller. It is actually an important opportunity to talk to your clothes and thank them. I'm watching Marie Kondo. I feel like I'm not gonna do the entire method. I kinda like her whole thing about like practicing gratitude with cleaning out stuff instead of just like you know, bulldozing. Today I'm going to tackle my closet clean out. I'm excited. I'm gonna have some coffee first and finish up watching an episode. And we're back full circle in this spot. I'm kind of scared. Don't really know what, how I'm gonna tackle this. Don't know how long this is gonna take. I have to go to a meeting on campus for my study abroad thing, but we'll see how much we can get done between now and then. I think I'm gonna start in the place that frustrates me the most which is these drawers. That one's honestly not as bad as it looks. It just needs to be refolded. It is actually organizers in here. You just can't see them. Look at that, done. Marie Kondo who? Who? Oh! I don't know her official title. I guess she's a professional organizer, but she helps people tidy up and she has this whole method called the KonMari method. So I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm just kind of taking inspiration from that. I'm not doing it fully. She says to put everything out on the bed, which I should probably freaking organize the bed first. Jeez, we are just, whew, there we go. <laughs> sort it by what brings you joy, what you actually want, and to be thankful for what you have and what you know has served you in the past. I wanna donate as much as possible. I'm gonna look at like bringing stuff to a women's shelter around here or just somewhere that needs it more than I do. I don't plan to sell much on like Poshmark or anything. This would be a perfect segue for a brand deal with Poshmark, but um, I do use Poshmark, but I just don't expect to have that many things that people would wanna buy. I don't know, we'll see. I might end up listing some things. I'll let you know if I do. My Poshmark will be linked down below. I'm not sponsored. This is some stuff that I don't use and it's just accumulated to be that. So the last time I did this was when I moved here almost two years ago. Like there's so much, like especially in these drawers, they get buried, it's unorganized, and I just don't use them. So let's start by dumping all this crap on my bed. I'm scared for my life. Here goes nothing. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I'm gonna get swallowed alive. Let's just go for it. Also, these drawers, come in this Ikea bed. Wow, I just feel like I barely made a dent in this. Oh my God, I am already like in over my head here. I'm already like disgusted with myself by the amount of just sheer things I have. Ugh. I'll find things that I forgot about that I had that have been buried that I haven't put on my body in two years. And, but then I justify it that I'm like, oh, well now I remember that I have it, I totally will wear it. And then I put it back in the closet and then I don't. And that my friends is drawer number one. Wow, right off the bat, I know that I don't want this anymore. Like the ones that I immediately am just like, no, that's gonna go first. I think I'll just sort them into piles and then like fold it into a bag later. Oh, I like this. I forgot I had this. See, this is what I do, but I actually will wear this. I've been looking for this one. I wanted to wear this to work multiple times, but it was just buried. See, if I didn't have all the shit that I don't need, I would be able to find these things better. This video will legitimately be an hour long if I talk through all this. So we'll do a little montaging and go from there. Workout tops, I wear them every day, so. So cute. And I forgot about it for the last like year and a half. The joys of discovering things in the closet. Sorting is honestly going well. I kind of feel like I have just as many things that I'm saving as I am getting rid of at this point. So the ratio. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Been trying to get all of you. I wore this when I went to the Taj Mahal. Whatever, it's from Forever 21, but I bought it on the street in India, so. All night, we haven't talked in months, but that's all right. I was wondering if you wanted to go for a drive. Okay, look at that organization nation. Here's what we got, here's what we ended up with with that giant freaking drawer. The things that are laid out here, I'm keeping, I folded and they're kind of just like sorted this way for now. Actually, these are a no-go. Um, I was gonna try them on, no. So here's workout clothes, things that I wear all the time. And then it goes into, I mean, they're not super organized here, but I have like some body suits, crop tops, um, some long sleeves here that I had folded. I have like my freaking handful of sleep shirts, t-shirts that I rotate between. I got rid of so many just like 
old gross sorority shorts and just things that I never wore that I held on to after college. I can't get rid of this Olaf sweatshirt. It's like yeah, no, I know. I know I'm, I really did get rid of a lot more than I thought I would. This monster pile is all things that I am saying sayonara to. It really was not that hard to part with a lot of these things. I posted on the story of my fit Instagram that I was doing a closet clean out and so many people were like, oh my God, are you gonna sell things on Poshmark? I pulled out a couple things that I think I'm gonna sell. Like this top from Urban, it's really nice. I just, I never wore it. And I think once I go through my actual closet, I'll have more I don't know, just a lot of this stuff in here, I was just like, this isn't even like nice enough to sell. Yes, phase one, pretty successful. So I'm gonna put these in a trash bag, set them aside, and then I'm gonna put these back in the drawer. It actually took a lot longer than I thought, so that is gonna be it for now because I have to go to my meeting on campus, but we're just gonna put these back in the drawer. Marie Kondo has like a folding method, but it's not gonna work for all of my clothes. First, I'm gonna clean out this drawer and then I'm gonna lay down just a layer because it's a pretty deep drawer, a layer of the sweatshirts and winter clothes and things that I don't, I'm not gonna use as much coming up. If it's fine where you are, take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. I got my hands out the window, feeling the ocean breeze. After you guys, can we talk about? How satisfying that is. Look at this, it closes, it closes. This is how it's supposed to be. Wow, that was so satisfying. Success, I'm so proud. Literally, that was so satisfying and it just felt so good. And I was like grateful for every item as I like set it aside. I just need to put these in a bag and then Oh, I need to go like five minutes ago. Thank you for watching phase one of my Marie Condoming my closet. Garbage bag. <laughs> Are they even all gonna fit in here? Might be a bit of a tight squeeze. Done. I'm just excited that someone else will be able to use these more than I was sitting in my drawer for like over a year. That's a wrap on phase one. I'm gonna head to campus now. All right, here we go, baby. Day two of the closet clean out. Today, we're doing the pant drawer and my closet. So this will be it looks like a big project, it might be, but I honestly don't think there's like a ton that I wanna get rid of in here. It's easier to like throw things in these drawers and stuff them in the back and just ignore them that I don't use, but I look at these every day. I'm gonna do the same things yesterday. I'm gonna put all of these on the bed. This shouldn't take as long just because it's pants, so there's less items in there that just take up more space. I'm realizing it might be difficult when I have like multiple giant bags because I don't have a car. So let me know if you have suggestions in the comments down below for things or places I can donate in Arlington. This is like all my pants and skirts. <laughs> we got like joggers, we got like work pants. Okay, yeah, there's always more in here than it looks to me. <sighs> How does this happen? Oh, there's fuzzy socks in here. Why are these in here? If anything, this is a good opportunity to reorganize these. So here is my pant drawer. Using my handy dandy Dyson. To clean out the drawer. So I'm pretty much just doing the same thing as yesterday. So I'm just gonna montage it, which I don't know if is interesting to watch. But I don't know, like that's why I'm like, did anyone actually wanna see this? Because I don't think this is interesting to watch, but maybe it'll motivate you guys. Are we alone again? Just you and I. On another one of our famous midnight drives. Do you need to rant or just stay silent? Either or, you know, I'm complying. Take a left up ahead. You might not believe me right now, but I think I'm going to sell a couple of my Gymshark Flex leggings because I have not worn these colors since like the first couple months I got them. <laughs> I just have found other leggings that I like so much more now than the Flex leggings. I'm gonna keep a couple of my neutral ones. When I go to grab workout clothes, these just aren't the ones I reach for. So if anyone wants to buy them, I'll probably sell them for a good price on my Poshmark. I love how I said I wasn't gonna do that in the beginning of this vlog and now it's like a freaking poster child for my Poshmark account. We're going towards the horizon. Don't stop going till we see the sun rising. You know this is who we are. This is what we do. Driving in circles till we find something new. The only person I enjoy. Something I'm realizing as I'm going through my clothes this time around 
around is it's just like i mentioned it's really not been hard for me and i'm usually so nostalgic two years ago i'm making this way more deep than it needs to be two years ago when i did a closet clean out i was such a different person and i like just graduated college just started my like healthy lifestyle and at this point i just feel like i'm so different that it's so easy to just be like oh i don't need that anymore I came across a shirt that i got in a brand deal i did in college like probably my sophomore year of college or something like that maybe junior year when my old manager brought me a brand deal with a plus size clothing company and i was like so embarrassed just like i don't want to be advertising plus size clothes i don't want to bring attention to my size like on my youtube channel like i wasn't like technically plus size i was like tw size 12 which is like right i was like on the brink but i took the deal because i needed the money and to pull out that shirt yesterday and just be like why am i holding on to this like it was so freeing to just be like no i'm done with that that is the past i mean clothes come with you in so many phases of life and it is easy to hold on to them for nostalgic reasons but it also is kind of like freeing to be like i'm done with this part of my life is you if it's fine by you i'll take the passenger seat we can drive around to the sky and see me and here we have it it doesn't look that impressive with the clean outside i swear it's more about organizing the drawer tbh and then i'm selling this stuff and i also have this stuff down here which i'm getting rid of still a lot of stuff but i'd say it's an improvement <laughs> we can drive around to the sky and see me I know this door's still like pretty full, but now this is like its actual capacity as opposed to what it was before. And it will close. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. It'll close. Yay. And bag number two. Okay, I've got a few things that I'm listing. Going through my closet now. This one I listed a long time ago. I think it might just be too gross and no one wants to buy it, so I'm gonna just donate it. Okay, I guess there's more that I'm ready to get rid of than I thought. Like, these are just old. They remind me of old times. <laughs> if it's fine Boom. by you, I'll be beside you. Staring out the window, looking at the sum of you. Fine by you, I'll be next to you. Here's what we got. The closet looks the same, which I expected. But I did get a lot more out than I expected. So here's all the hangers of things. Yeah, I'm gonna list a few of these things. So look out, this jacket's super cute. Um, it just doesn't fit as well as another one I have. This is what we're left with. I divided the last thing into two bags. And here's what the closet looks like. I hung up the things that are hanging around it, got rid of a few of the things up there. It's kind of bunchy, but otherwise, I'd say we're in decent shape. Thumbs up if this was satisfying for you too to see the transformation of my drawers in my closet. Um, it wasn't like super dramatic or anything, and I know a lot of people are probably gonna be like, what the heck, you're not doing shoes, you're not going through your whole room. Um, I showed you some mess that I have yet to get through, but this isn't like a me like overhaul extreme room makeover video where I clean everything. I just wanted to go through my closet my clothes i had a great time i feel so good things should be coming up on my poshmark if you want to check it out make sure to subscribe if you're not already because i upload vlogs multiple times a week i will be continuing the like cleaning series a little bit just like here and there in my vlogs so you'll see the finished product of what my room looks like after so this is just focused on cleaning out my closet love you guys so much thanks for watching give it a thumbs up if you made it to the end and let me know if you guys are gonna do something similar spring cleaning you know gotta get that junk out of your life <laughs> make sure to go get yourself some two for 24 leggings from fabletics with the link below see you guys in my next one bye oh. if it's fine, 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 you, I'll take, take, take the passengers